everyone, this is Emma. Welcome to online video course Piano Well. I cannot believe this is the last lesson of this course. I mean, of the very first part of this course. And we're gonna talk about the last musical mean of expression, which is artistry. Um, we're working with my training book. You can download for free on my website at afiantechnique.com. Just um, link in description to this video. Uh, so this is lesson 14. And as I said, topic of this lesson is artistry. Artistry is necessary for, absolutely necessary for every pianist who, um, who desires to successfully perform on stage. Because artistry is a musical mean of expression that lets you play confidently uh, while performing in front of audience. And um, how it works, you simply add uh, artistry to emotional image, form and time and express it through intonation while playing. So we all know this blurry and cloudy feeling that occurs every time we go on stage. Uh, it's a natural feeling because it's caused by worry. But it absolutely distracts us from playing and we cannot think properly, we cannot control everything in 100% as we wish. Um, so you need this musical mean of expression to be able to go through this blurry feeling and start speaking on stage openly, confidently and freely. And after such performance uh, there will be uh, no feeling of failure and that's why next performance will only bring you um, excitement, but good excitement, you know, it's like anticipation of success. So you will... Um, okay, you know, I used to, to be really afraid to perform on stage. It came to the point that I was almost in panic. I remember one time it was just, it's like a disaster, I mean, I was standing and it was like like two, one minute um, before my turn and there is another performer, performer who, who, who was finishing his program and I was about to go on stage and play and I suddenly, and it's not like suddenly, I always like in my mind, okay, okay, how I play, how I play, beginning. Of, of, of this song and then I was just suddenly realized I in my mind I kind of cannot remember what to play I, I think I forgot the chord I think I forgot the passage and what I did I just in this disparate panic I just went back to um, to the war warm-up classroom and I tried to, to, to start playing the song as I remember that was a scherzo by Chopin, scherzo number two it, it was it was terrible. I mean, my stage fright was to the point that I almost was about to faint. So, artistry really helped me to go through that really bottom to the very top when I'm not losing my voice when I'm playing, I'm speaking very loud, very confident, I'm leading the audience. And as I said, so why I'm telling you this, as I said, now every next performance only brings me anticipation of success. And that's why I like to play, I want to play, this is the main thing. Um, so, as I said before, um, you simply tune into this feeling and then express it through intonation while playing. And I don't really want, I don't really know how it works, how it works, but uh, when you're in this state of mind, I don't really know how to explain that, you know. It's just some kind of feeling that changes everything within you that stiffs you inside and doesn't let you speak up on the stage. Uh, so, the, the feeling I'm <laughs> the kind of feeling I'm talking about, I could have tried to explain you through words but we all know that that is not enough. So I was thinking, okay, uh, which example I could give you guys so you could really feel and understand this feeling of artistry. And I found out that one of the 
best examples is okay don't laugh guys but really go on YouTube and type a song Survivor that Destiny's Child performs performed on one of the uh, Beyonce's concert and I will probably put it in this video like an annotation so you can just click it and take a look I mean this performance has everything we need great power strange uh, of course confidence little bit of aggressiveness all together gives in unforgettable incredible feeling of open and free statement that's all we need to develop and this kind of feeling you have to have uh, while playing on stage because uh, every time we play for someone we play for audience there is invisible battle going on between us and listeners on one side all the thoughts all the thoughts and feelings of listeners their energy on another side our feelings our world that we want to share and brings um, our audience to and I as I said I never consider myself as a fighter and um, <laughs> I'm very, you know, I'm like a water, <laughs> I'm a very calm person, I mean, I, I can be fire about something that I'm passionate about, but generally I'm a very nice person, so I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not aggressive, you know, I'm not aggressive person, but I had to develop this feeling, I just, I just, I simply had, I realized that if I don't have this feeling that everything I am uh, practicing at home by myself I will lose everything while playing for, for others because I will, I, will, I will just get drawn in their energy so I had to develop this feeling to be able to go through uh, audience energy and start speaking confidently while playing and if you get it something just clicks and uh, you win this battle you know you win this battle just in in a second you bring your audience to your performance you start leading your audience and everything is in your hand you're not you're not intimidated anymore you clearly uh, convey and express all your ideas and only in this case, guys, a true communication between your energy and audience and audience energy is possible. Um, otherwise, as I said, if you go to the stage and if you're not going to speak loudly and confidently like a good orator, then audience will just audience will just eat you with its all energy. I mean, and, and it's not because audience is bad, you know, it's like audience, is, audience are actually human being pe people, right? Are people who have their own thoughts, their own emotions, and maybe they don't really, they're not really tuned into you when you're on stage. So they like speak to each other, someone has unfinished uh, work at home, whatever, they're not really ready to listen to you, so you have to take them. <laughs> you have to take them and you have to speak loudly if you don't do this as I said you will just get drawn in into their energy and that's why you will always feel um, this uh, feeling of failure because basically you're gonna lose the battle <laughs> let's go to exercise um, I'm gonna give you a small example um, how I feel this artistry and um, I will sing a little bit so you could feel probably through sound um, how it changes intonation, how artistry changes intonation okay so we're gonna open page uh, 57 I'll just go to menu and click on artistry <laughs> to bring you to page 57 um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna sing the full phrasing here, I'm sorry guys. I'm just gonna sing 
a little of motif, this, and this feeling of artistry. you play it let's play it just with artistry artistry together with an emotional image and form and time but maybe you should try first to make just artistry with emotional image without form um, let's see I'm gonna sing uh, emotional image so basically basically artistry makes every single musical mean of expression much bigger um, more relief and um, more powerful. It's just what we need when we play on stage. Because when we play on stage, everything should be bigger. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here you just tune into, for example, joy, feeling of joy. And then with this feeling of artistry, you express this feeling of joy. Okay, I'm gonna try. sorrow the same way with feeling of, of artistry you just express this feeling of sorrow something like this <laughs> so you feel how it works right um, so now I think I'll just play um, in one um, enjoy. I'm gonna play beginning, rising to climax, climax, and conclusion, and I'm gonna make it in the time, in time. So I'm gonna pulsate, and I'm gonna. Uh, Again, express everything through artistry. So, I'm, um, so what I'm doing, <laughs> step by step, I'm imagining for the whole phrasing in sound timber. And let's make upper voice, upper part louder and closer than left hand. Alright, next thing, okay, let me remember. Okay, so I'm tuning to emotional image. And together with um, part of form, in this case it's going to be the beginning. And then feeling it, and then feeling it in a certain pulsation. Okay, so it's ready. And now I'm going to express it through artistry, so feeling artistry, and then right before I start playing, I'm gathering weight.
One thing that I've noticed when I discover this feeling is that it really helps me to keep my torso steady. Because inside you kind of becomes steady as well in all your emotions. You kind of like everything. And that's why you're not doing like this anymore. So it's all... I know this word in Russian. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English, but you understand, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so this is the whole exercise, and um, um, as I said about that song, it's a very nice example. For me personally, uh, that time, like um, six years ago. Uh, Another song of, your, of, your, of Beyonce really helped me to get this feeling. Um, the song is called Listen, and that time, you know, I, I'm watching it for the very first time on the very big screen, and her energy that he gave me through her voice, through her intonation, it just... It was so strong, it was so powerful, and so I could get this feeling just in one second just in one click um, so I, I got this feeling and then I was like okay so maybe I should apply it when I'm playing on stage and then you know um, this feeling artistry really changes a little bit everything you do and at some point I decided to give up this feeling and playing on stage without this feeling. I was like, okay, so I feel, like I feel already confident, so maybe I don't really need this. You know, um, but then I realized that this feeling art of artistry is like a shield. Shield? Shield? <laughs> it's like protection. Really, it works r like protection. Um, with all the thoughts that audience gives you, you make this protection and it just goes back to them. And then you, you, you make um, for yourself the space when you can start feeling a little bit more confident, more confident, and uh, then you start speaking louder and louder, and then through this, through this protection you start um, expressing and convey all your ideas. So, yeah, let's say artistry is like a protection for you on the stage. So as I said, I give up this and uh, I remember when I started playing, I just really felt like all the thoughts and emotions of audience just came into me, in my body, in my mind, in my heart, and I couldn't get myself, um, everything just fell apart. I was like, oh my god, this artistry really works. It's not just, you know, something psycho psychological, it really, it really does work. So, um, even though you may feel that you don't really need this artistry when you're practicing at home, I'm telling you, from my experience, you definitely need this when you're playing on stage. Um, and I think this is, even though it's the last one, it's the last musical mean of expression, this is the most important musical mean of expression, because if you don't do this, if you don't protect yourself, then... Um, Everything, every other 13 musical community of expression that you practice before successfully at home is going to be failure on the stage. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely need artistry. Okay, so that was the last uh, lesson of this course. And just give you one advice. Uh, please do not pick some... Um, musical means of expression that you probably you think you need like for example the most common one like uh, some some elbow technique uh, maybe a little bit of like how to develop fingertips phrasing um, form dynamics maybe even artistry <laughs> and just apply to your to your playing it's not gonna work all musical means of expression are, are only gonna work in the system when um, because everything is based every new musical mean of expression is based on the previous musical mean of expression 
So you can just keep or just pick someone. Mm. So if you really want to start playing very well, you need to start with very first lesson and be sure that you um, accomplish every assignment successfully and it's kind of comfortable for you to play and only then move to the next lesson. Well, I'm sure what I'm talking about is like ABC, everyone who <laughs> try to teach, they always explain, don't skip any step. <laughs> so. The same in music, so don't do this, guys. Mm. Yeah, I, I really enjoy to make this course. And cannot wait when I, when I finally uh, can start showing you um, what this system really brings to your playing. So, um, I'm gonna start playing and show you um, how I analyze and practice everything using a piano roll system. Okay, <laughs> have a very good day. Uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for, for my subscribers. For now I don't have too many, but I'm still very glad that maybe some of them could um, could get something very valuable for them from this video course. Um, I believe that actually can get. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me and see you in the next video. Bye.